Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach the banking ERD model. Before you are doing the banking application software, you need a ER diagram. This is must. So it will be uh, telling the path of the banking application. Okay, this is a simple application I have did it. So it has a first we have called as entities, these all bank, branch account type accounts customer and transaction so here first what i am going to each and every entity as attributes these are the attributes so if you are look at the bank bank as code which is a if you are put into the code under the line the code under the line it called as a primary key you are declaring the primary key of your diagram you look like look like this way it has another attribute of name of the bank bank registration these are the three attributes branch it consists of address branch code and name these are the attributes so here if you are consider uh, here this one you can observe this one one branch has bank has many branches one bank has many branches if it is a if, uh, example if you take the bank of H, HDFC bank is one bank okay the company is one company as a so much branches the one branch is uh, reside in chennai another branch is reside in Cal Calcutta, and another one is a bombay so so on so the bank is one there are so many branches so here if you are, take the example of branch and account one branch has many accounts the branch is as one this branch has the many accounts the accounts as account number account holder name balance okay they are the accounts there are various accounts okay so the account has many account types one account has many account types okay those are saving account current account fixed account there are various types okay it has attributes name interest rate account type as checks so another important stuff is it has a another one is a account name which is a saving or current okay this is a say relationship account type account type is a saving or current okay so this is the it is called as a say relationship okay so the third one you can see over here there are another one is entity transaction and customer so what the relationship one customer has many transactions so i am the constructor a customer can have a many transaction one transaction id it has a many transaction but customer is only one person okay these are the customer attributes name pin number the customer should have a pin number when when they require to withdraw the money so they need a pin number when the when you register the uh, register on the bank they are given the debit card so debit card they are uh, giving the pin number it has a pin number you can open up and you can uh, when you insert the card into the atm machine you have to put that particular number and you can withdraw the if the number is valid you will be able to withdraw the money okay this other scenario it's working transaction amount date and time which time you are uh, transfer the transaction you are did the transaction date and time executed by you so this transaction id amount and id for the amount your transaction you did the withdrawal or oh, account to account transaction or oh, uh, your deposit account so this is this order is called as a transaction this is the main thing of the bank you have to transfer the account one account to another account you all things are your transaction id it's a tid okay this is a simple way you have to do the implement the ER, erd model of the bank okay this system is very important stuff so when you while you are working with this system this is very must when you are working with the banking project this is very must without this erd we have to we can't work it okay so we have to this relationship is, is must thank you for watching